My goodness, what a glorious day on the mountain. We are officially in the spring skiing. For, so for those who aren't skiers, that means the snow starts to really soften up. And, uh, and actually what happens is it, it softens up during the day and then it freezes overnight. So that means that getting up here first thing in the morning, usually getting up first thing in the morning, getting the first chair is what you want to do. Most of the days, the best runs are the earliest runs. And when I say best, I'm term, talking just in terms of snow conditions. But um, once you get into spring skiing, it freezes overnight. And then during the day, it warms up and it melts and it becomes soft and slushy and fun. And, um, and But that means the early runs are icy and you can just see the, the mountain change with every run. And so that, in other words, that means you sleep in and you don't come up here until, you know, instead of getting up here and getting on the, ch getting on the lift at nine right there for first chair, you wait until 10 or 10.30 or 11. So everything's more relaxed. The, the runs shift into later in the day. And there's probably, there's probably some great business metaphor for that, but I don't have one right now. What I've got for you today is instead of going into marketing tactics, you know, like I like to talk about a lot of the times, I just want to talk about, you know, I just put a post on Insta and it was asking people about what's their favorite personal development trait or hack that they like that, that what's the number one most important thing for entrepreneurs to be thinking about in terms of personal development and it got an amazing reaction like literally 10 or 20 times more comments than my typical insta post and i think it's because entrepreneurs successful entrepreneurs are pretty much almost all of them are into personal growth or personal development in some sense. And when I say into it, I don't mean like a hobby. What I mean is they understand that if you're going to create something great in the world, if you're an entrepreneur, you're going to be creating. If you're going to create something great in the world, it comes down to, you know, the thoughts that are running through your head and asking the right questions and having great thoughts and then making implementing those thoughts, making them a reality in the real world. And so taking care of your mental state, taking care of your physical state is something all of us have to do. And we have to work on it all the time. It's not, it's like brushing your teeth. It's not like you brush your teeth once and then you're done. Or it's not like you brush your teeth, you know, once a month, or it's not like you brush your teeth every day for a month. You brush your teeth every day. And that's when it comes to taking care of your mental health and your physical health, it's, it's absolutely required. You have to do this constantly if you want to be successful. And I was thinking, you know, what are some of the, the traits that I think are most important for entrepreneurs? And I think resilience is certainly one of them because guaranteed things are not going to always go right. As an entrepreneur, you, you get paid to solve problems for other people. And inevitably, you're going to have, those problems are going to flow down onto you. Something's going to go wrong. Nothing, it's just never going to always run perfectly. You know, there's, there used to be, maybe it still is, this idea of passive income and having multiple streams of passive income. And, you know, in my, boy, it's almost 30 years now of building online businesses. It, it's, that thought is just completely it just doesn't work. There's no, really, there's no such thing as a passive income. You know, it, it might make a great dream. It might make great, something that's great to sell to people, but it doesn't happen. You're always gonna be solving problems for other people and solving problems in your business. So resilience closely related is perseverance. The, ab the ability to pick yourself up after things go wrong, after things fail. That's just, that's what we get paid to do. And you know, there, there are so many, you know, there, there's so much else to share on this, but I'm at the end of my lift here. We're about to get off. If you can practice resilience, if you can just look around for someone who has had a similar challenge to you and maybe even a greater challenge and they were able to solve it, then you'll be able to solve it as well. And then once you get start to get experience, then you can just tap into the past successes you've had in, in solving things. Like, 
you know, when I was eight years into my business, I had a partner literally steal the business for me and I had to start over from scratch. And I could just say, you know, in the eight years, I've learned how to figure a few things out. And here, we're gonna get off the lift here. Oh. Here we go. And, oh boy, I gotta get my, this is getting exciting. So, in those eight years, I'm like, yeah, I've had to figure a few things out. And I've had a few setbacks, and this is the biggest setback I've ever had, but that's okay. Yeah, he stole this business, but you know what? I'm, I'm gonna show him who is, has the real value here. And I ended up building my next business back 50 times bigger with, with a thousand times bigger impact. And so resilience, perseverance, over time, you will grow it just based on the successes you've had. But until you get there, if you're, if you're struggling, just look, who else has had an even greater challenge and been able to overcome that and tap into that? Because we are resilient people and you will be resilient. Just pick yourself up and start, continue to move forward. So I'm Jeff Walker, wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, and let's go get in the suite.